I often stand and glance outside the gates and look at people at peak hour traffic. They're looking into the entrance of the tannery. There's very little to be seen from their window. And I often wonder what people think of the place. And I don't believe they would have a clue what goes on inside the gates. If you go to some of the larger tanneries around the world, it's very much automated. And hardly a human actually touches the, the, the leather itself as it comes through. Well, it's often been said, if a tanner came back from 500 years ago, it would recognize all of the aspects of our leather making today. We sell our leather based on, on tradition, um, on provenance, uh, and there's a lot of emphasis on the craft as well. Pretty much all of the work is done by hand. We actually start the process off with the raw hide itself. We remove the hair, we lime the, the hide, which actually opens up the fibre structure. We set out to make a bespoke leather. So we impart oils, waxes, greases to give the exact characteristics demanded by the customer. There's a great demand for traditional leather. We've gone back to our roots, we've dusted off the old recipe books, and we've started to recreate this leather over the last four or five years. We tan the leather very slowly over a period of time uh, with vegetable matter. The bark is stripped off the branches. It's fed through a, a machine that grinds the bark down into a dust. We make a tea out of that dust, and we lay the, the hide in the pits for one year and one day. This goes back to a guild that was established in the medieval period. Sometimes straight off the, off the shelf, they all look the same. And it's only in a few years' time when the person who's actually bought the saddle or the shoes recognised the quality. The very best leather uh, is made by people who actually understand the craft and the chemistry. In the nature of my work as a tanner, I engage with a lot of craftspeople. There's the clog makers, saddlers, sport ball makers. Each and every craft is fascinating. Our leather goes to every point of the compass. America, Europe, Japan, there's a demand for traditional quality leathers. The leather industry as it stands is as strong as it's been for the last 20 years. Having said that, we've gone from many thousands of tanneries down to, down to a handful. The ones that survive today are pretty much the best tanners in the world.